what's going on YouTube? For those of you who are subscribed to my channel or familiar with my videos, um, I've been away for a little while. I apologize for that. Um, I've moved recently and done a whole big shift with my career and stuff like that, going back to school. So I've been pretty busy. But now that I'm finally getting settled in, I can get to doing some videos again. So the first one I'm going to start with, based on all the feedback I've been receiving on a bunch of my videos from the past couple of months or so, is a quick kind of like set up cheat engine, download, set it up. This is going to be a quick video just to show you how to get set up like I have my stuff set up essentially. So um, even if you have cheat engine, you may not be aware that they released 6.3 um, just couple few weeks ago as of what the data is right now so anyway um, if you're new to cheat engine you can just go here and where it says download cheat engine that's not an ad you can actually click that and download it so start by doing that all right and once it downloads you can nix the site go ahead and run it now this is gonna seem obvious but Cheat Engine comes bundled with some crapware, so I want to show you how to avoid that, all right? So click Yes to install. All right, now, it depends on when you'll get these kind of like little ad things or other bundled software. So if you get this setup right here, however your setup is, make sure you read it very closely. This one says full installation, recommended, install the toolbar, blah blah blah. Don't do that. Click custom installation, uncheck this value apps thing, and then I guess that unchecks that. Now sometimes there's another thing that it'll try to install, which we may run into here. So. I guess overall we could click skip here. Let's try that and see what happens. Uh, what the heck is that? All right, let's skip that. All right, so finish. So that was a different type of setup. Let me run the setup again here and see if it does anything different. Yeah, see, now we've got this different thing here set my default search blah 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 uncheck that you can go next you agree to install if you click next so hit skip so there you go just be really careful with how you install cheat engine all right if you're not it'll install some garbage so now that we're done with that you can run cheat engine do you want to try out the tutorial? You can try it if you want. Just say no. Well, I'm just going to say no. All right, so you start off with this, okay? The first thing I want to make you aware of is edit settings, okay? If you ever try to attach the debugger to something and you, as soon as you do that, the game crashes or your application crashes or whatever, it's probably probably because you're going to need to change your debugger method. I pretty much always use VEH debugger. That works for me. Like in Borderlands 2, that's what I have to use. Anything else and it crashes. Even if I use this and say try to prevent detection of the debugger. But sometimes you'll need to do that. So just be aware that, you know, sometimes that's what you're going to have to do. Change your debugger, okay? That's pretty much the only thing I ever have to change. Um, in my next video, which I'm going to do right after this one, um, I'm going to show you how to use Cheat Engine with emulators for Nintendo games and stuff like that. And sometimes, depending on the emulator, you may have to check this here. Under Scan Settings, check Mem Mapped because emulator memory um, acts differently. So you'll check that and say OK. So for right now, I will set mine to the VEH debugger, and I will check this because of the video that I'm going to do next. Click OK. And that's pretty much it. I mean, that's getting Cheat Engine installed, avoiding the crapware, and just making you aware of those couple of things with your debugger method. All right? So in the next video, which I'll call Part 2, this will be Part 1, keeping it short. And... Um, yeah, the next video I'll go into all the stuff like attaching it and 
starting off searching for values and stuff like that. So if you are unfamiliar with Cheat Engine or you are unfamiliar with using it with emulators, then the next video will definitely be something you'll want to check out. So thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know any questions you may have. Leave some comments, whatever. And um, I will see you in the next video. Thanks.